We would uh, like to now, we are, uh, he may not know it's his time but because we uh, cut a song, uh, to get to him sooner and to do other things. Uh, we had Jim Boja out on the stage. He's wonderful. We're going to press our luck and invite our, our very good friend, Mr. John Roderick, out onto the stage. Already making us regret this decision. <laughs> Technically, we invited the jacket out on stage. John just comes with it. Hi, Paul. Hi, Storm. Hi, Hi John. John. I really, I really like the way that the, the, the evening is trending. I've talked to a lot of sea monkeys, and since Hodgman isn't on the boat, the sea monkey community is looking for a new, a new villain. Yeah. And I really feel that it's you, Paul. And I've talked to a lot of people about it, and we're concerned that you don't want to be the villain. But the other option is Will Wheaton, who desperately wants to be the villain. <laughs> so I think in, in, in true Sea Monkey tradition of denying people the thing that they want the most, <laughs> you're in the lead. <laughs> I didn't know it was a race. <laughs> uh, we were actually, um, we brought a real musician out so we could do another real song. We, uh, part of a Kickstarter that we did back in the end of 2013 that brought you Ball Pit, among many other things, we are working on... That brought you Ball Pit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we are working on an album of covers with a lot of uh, our musician friends. We, uh, let's see, the Kickstarter ended in December of 2013. We have two of the 15 songs recorded. And, uh, this is... What? Are you marveling at our pace? No, I was a big supporter. Yeah. <laughs> I like to win. Still waiting for my t-shirts. <laughs> and, and I'm still waiting for that next Long Winners album, so... <laughs> hey, if the shoe fits, if I'm going to be the goddamn villain, I am going to be the goddamn villain. in his own story, so screw you all! Yeah. The, the, the difference is I didn't take all their money first. <laughs> Your point being? <laughs> I, I don't know how the internet works. <laughs> Still learning. Thank you all. Thank you all for all the, the magical lessons. <laughs> Uh, uh, John will be uh, up at the hot tub following dinner uh, for Explain the Internet to John Roderick Hour. <laughs> the reverse of office hours. <laughs> uh, this song, actually, this is one of the songs we, we have recorded, and uh, we love it a lot. This was uh, another Irish folk tune by a, from 1954 by an Irish play playwright named Brendan Behan. Uh, we first heard it when it was performed by the legendary Dubliners. Uh, folk band. We also, the Dust Brothers covered it for the Inside Lewin Davis soundtrack. But those guys all suck and we know we can do it better. <laughs> Dust Brothers? Yeah. Did I say Dust Brothers? Yeah. yeah. I would love to hear a Dust Brothers. Dust Brothers. <laughs> That's going to get a lot funnier after we finish this song. Uh, but uh, this is called the Old Triangle, or the Old Triangle, depending on how you care to pronounce it. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go old school on this and go off mic. Yeah, I know you've been you've been very impressed by the confraternity of twinks or whoever they people. Are. <laughs> but now, now you're gonna see what happens when they grow up and become men. And I'm the villain of the cruise. Somebody's pulling the levers behind the curtain, is all I'm saying. Uh, do we have a note? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? That's pretty hot. Yeah. I'm going. Whoa. <laughs> Yet another reason to love him.
I'm sorry, miss, this is not an audience participation party. <laughs> Oh 